Yeah. Yeah, we're not sitting up here. We're just carrying everything. Let you know what we're doing. Carry it. I'm John Jameson. And I'm James Johnson. As you all may have heard, recent disaster has struck caused by the popular singing contest held in Sinking, China. Yes, this show is located in the city of Sinking in China. Ironically, Sinking has sunk to the earth. <laughs> I guess you could say the sinking of Sinking in Sinking has been sinking to the earth. Uh, I think you mean the sinking of Sinking in Sinking with Sinking to the king of Sing. I'm lost. Don't sweat it, James. Thanks, John. This is a serious disaster. Yes, James, and the catastrophe has not only affected China, but the whole world. Oh, gosh. What has happened to everyone else in this random disaster? Well, James, due to the sinking of sinking, Australia, which we all know is opposite China, I mean, how else could you dig to it, has quite literally popped out of the earth. Popped, you say? Yes. The earth has now taken this form. Well, jeez. We'll be back after this tragic video of the children's misfortune. <laughs> what are you two saying? You've made a joke out of something so serious. I'm not sure if the truth you can even read the script that I gave you. <sighs> give us a break. You only needed to give a simple explanation of the plate tectonics pushing into the ground in China, pushing Australia and causing earthquakes and the altitude popping everyone's eardrums. This is a sea disaster recreation. And welcome back to Sing King, where we are moments away from announcing the winner. Here we are in a nice aerial shot of Sing King Stadium. And as you can see on the left, we have 525 million people in Sing King. It's truly a record number of people. Let's hope that won't be an earthquake or something. <laughs> now let's get a good shot of that hyped up crowd here. I'm sure they'll be excited to know who the winner of Sinking is, because it will be announced on a projection on the moon. This is truly amazing.
Wow, poor Australia. Their ears must have popped dreadfully due to the high change. Poor things. Luckily we'll know just how it felt because we have first-hand knowledge on the situation. Let me introduce Todd and Janice. A little too much. Okay, so Todd, is it? Yeah, 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 that's me name, don't worry, up, bruh! <laughs> and you must be Janice. Yeah, that, that's me. <laughs> Alright then, I hear you guys have some perhaps failed prototype ideas about emoji communication. And someone told me that you, Janice, were the mastermind behind decoding the moon message. Yes, Janice, tell us a bit about how you cracked the code. Okay, so when the ground shot up, I was really worried that my dad would get angry at me because I was up past curfew and everything. So my first idea was to text him. If this was your first idea, what happened next? Okay, so I'm the kind of person that loves emojis. They're so cute and all. It was then that I saw the emojis projected onto the moon and thinking that I got the idea. Like, what do they, what do they mean? You were like... We all wanted to know too. We thought, you know, there was just these weird things up on the moon. And no one knew what they were. We thought they were just like decorations or something. I, I, I don't even know. I know, Todd, but this is my story, so this is what I was thinking. Anyway, all emojis have a word equivalent. Sometimes it's a smiley, like bracket colon, or it's a word between two colons. Wow, you're right. Well, anyway, I realized the moon emojis, the question mark, trophy, microphone, and crown could mean anything. So we started by assuming the question mark was either who, where, what, why, when, or how. You know, question stuff. How did you get to the next part? Pun intended. <laughs> oh, you just got that. <laughs> well... It was mostly a game of trial and error, which I had to play by myself. <laughs> but in the end, I decided it was question mark equals trophy, win, oh, trophy equals win or winner, microphone equals sing or song, and crown equals king. So we ended up with who won sing king? Wait, you said you were doing this alone. Where was everyone else? Oh yeah, when we found out the emojis were a message here, the rest of us thought we could like signal everyone below. We are like drawing some emojis on paper and holding it up on the window so like they'd see us and stuff. But yeah, no, that didn't work. So, but Cleveland, he sorted it all out. He, 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 he got it right. That's right, everyone. And here he is. Hey guys, Micah here, and today I'm joined by Cleveland. Now, Cleveland is the mastermind behind sending a message to everyone below to let them know that people in the school were okay. What'd you do? Mike, have you ever heard of Little Sydney? You bet I have. At Sing King, they used vivid technology to project silhouettes onto the moon. This got me thinking, what if we could create something similar to let everybody down below know that we were okay? So what did you do? We made a homemade projector. And what exactly goes into this, I think you mean, schoolmate projector? Oh, that's a bit funny. <laughs> a, a high beam flashlight, a magnifying glass, and a, and a plastic sheet with whatever you want to project drawn on it. What? How do you make a projector with such simple things? It's not that hard. First you need to draw whatever you want to project onto the plastic sheet. Then you take the, tor take the torch to it. After that, with the torch turned on, put the magnifying glass in, in front of the drawing to make the projection crystal clear. Wow, that's pretty impressive. Now, one more question. I'm dying to know. What was it you projected to everyone down below? Well, like we did at Sinking, we got some emojis. The question mark, the trophy, the, the microphone, and the crown. Because we all really wanted to know who won sinking. Cowabunga, dude! And you certainly weren't the only one that wanted to know. Quite a story. Back to you in the studio. What a miraculous miracle. that Cleveland made that when he did. And yes, even better, when all the tourists left sinking, the world popped back into place like a ball of Play-Doh. Yeah, great analogy there. Thank you for tuning in tonight. I'm James Johnson. And I'm John Jameson. And to conclude our show tonight, we would have the winner of Sinking come to perform for us. But his his uh his mother's dog's previous owner's wedding was on, yeah. so he couldn't come in. So we have Well that's that's, that's fair enough. But wait. We have the runner up. Thanks, dude. This is a secret. Yeah, this is a totally original song I write. <laughs> I am 
Jesse. I am cool. I want to win so I can get out of school. I'm really good at singing and I hope that I can yeah, win sinking. I don't care about having a friend. I just want some money to spend. Yo, I'm James Johnson and I want to say that I'm only doing this to get some pay. I'm John Jameson and I want to say James and I are secretly no cut cut cut. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I came second in sinking, man.